What up guys? Today I'm going to give you my updated kid washing routine. I shared a different wash day routine for Olivia I think about two years ago and since then my routines have changed so many times. Back in the day I used to wash her hair in the bathtub and then that got old and so then I started moving her to the sink and then that got old. Olivia is a really tough customer. She does not like getting her hair washed. It's a screaming match every single time. I don't know many kids that enjoy getting their hair washed so I'm sure once she gets older it'll be fine. With that being said, I feel like I've come up with a method that is really good and I want to share it with you guys because it not only helps Olivia but it helps me to get her hair done faster. It used to take me about three hours now it just takes me an hour and a half. It's a really fast process. A little bit about Olivia's hair. It's very tightly curled, not as tight as mine, slightly looser, but then on top of that, she has a little bit more softness and silkiness to her hair. I used to wash her hair every week, now I wash it every two weeks, but her hair tends to get a ton of buildup, a ton of lint. Because it is so soft, it can break very easily and it picks up anything that touches it, anything in the atmosphere, any pollen, all of that gets absorbed into her hair. So it can be an interesting detangling process, but I figured out a really easy method and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. If you have kids that hate getting their hair done, if they have hair that's kind of difficult to detangle, that you're really gonna benefit from this video. All the products that I use in this video, I'm going to link in the description box below. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really hope it's helpful to any parents out there or maybe even to do your own hair, who knows? And I will see you after the video. So here's Olivia's hair after two weeks of protective styling. She's pretty rough with her hair as you can see. I try to do as much as possible while she's distracted watching her shows and eating snacks. It's just easier when she's distracted. So I do the majority of her wash day in the living room. I like to work one braid at a time. I unravel the braid, which is usually pretty dry and tangled, especially at that base near her head. There's lots of tangles and lint from the week. And I can detangle this in what I would consider a quick and easy manner. But Olivia, once she feels me pull her hair, even if it's the smallest amount, she starts to complain and whine and yada, yada, yada. So my secret weapon is this amazing detangler from Cantu Kids line. And I'm gonna link it in the description box. This product is so good. I just spray a bit of it where her tangles are at the base on both sides and all the knots just fall apart so easily. Look at that. It's crazy. So it really helps me avoid the unnecessary complaining that I get from Olivia when I start to tangling because I don't have to pull her head and all that kind of stuff. This just makes my life so much easier. You guys really got to give this a try. I would actually use this on my own hair to detangle, but it has coconut oil in it, unfortunately. So yeah. Anyway, now I can finger detangle the section super quickly without any complaining. And to keep the hair detangled, I twist the section into a two strand twist, making sure the base is nice and loose. Now I just repeat the same thing on the rest of the braids, working one braid at a time. Unravel the braid. And of course this is optional, but I like to help those tangles at the base loosen by spraying this detangler from the Cantu Kids line. I coat it on both sides and then the tangles just melt apart. Then I just finger detangle to get all that shed hair out and twist the section into a large two strand twist, making sure the hair is nice and loose at the base where the hair meets the head. All right, so now all my braids are removed, detangled, and retwisted loosely. Now it's time to cleanse the hair. And yes, I also do this while she's sitting in the living room, nice and distracted. I'm telling you guys, it makes my life so much easier. Anything I can do while she's distracted. Okay, so you'll probably be surprised, but it's actually really easy to wash a head of hair outside a shower or sink. I just spray water all over her scalp, soaking her entire head. As long as the water doesn't touch her face, she's usually fine. If it drips on her neck, it's not a problem. So I just saturate her hair with water and then massage that in. Now I just grab my shampoo of choice and lather it on, massaging it into her scalp to make sure it gets clean. And this is why I make sure my twists are loose at the base so I can really get my fingers into her scalp so I can work that shampoo into her scalp more easily. And Olivia's hair actually responds well to most shampoos and conditioners, so it usually doesn't matter which I choose. Here I just use the Cantu line shampoo because I had it. So really massage that shampoo into her scalp, making sure it's nice and clean. And look how calm she is, guys. I'm telling you, this method is a lifesaver if you have kids who hate getting their hair washed. She doesn't even care. She's so distracted. 
Now, once her scalp is clean, I unravel the twists, working the shampoo down her hair shafts to make sure that all her hair is clean. And I'm also just finger detangling as I go to make sure everything stays organized. All right, so now our hair is washed and finger detangled. It's time for this love fest to end. We're gonna head to the shower to rinse and condition. All right guys, listen, this part is a nightmare. Real talk. So I try to move as quickly as possible. She hates getting her hair washed. This next part will take me about 15 minutes to complete. First, I rinse all the shampoo out. Her hair is already finger detangled, so I head straight to that deep conditioner step. I squeeze out most of the water. Look at that face, ridiculous. And I apply the deep conditioner from ends to roots. And I'm just using the same deep conditioner that I use on my own hair. This is a high porosity mask. Now I work that into her hair using my fingers. And on Olivia's hair, I always detangle with a detangling brush just to make sure all the knots are out since she's so rough during the week. I could do this outside the shower right before I style her hair, but I like to do this after I apply the deep conditioner for a couple of reasons. Number one, brushing the conditioner through her hair helps to make sure that each strand is evenly coated. And number two, it gives the conditioner more time to sit in her hair as I'm brushing. Like I said, I'm moving really fast here in the shower and I have to detangle her hair anyway. I might as well utilize this time to let that conditioner sit for as long as possible. Here, I'm using my favorite Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. And contrary to what it looks like, I am detangling her hair gently. It looks more rough than it is because she doesn't hold her neck still. And also, you know, the tears, the drama, it's, it's a lot. But yeah, she's getting a gentle brush through. If you remember, her hair was already very detangled from just using my fingers. Woo! All right, now the last step. I just rinse all of that deep conditioner out. I used to have her sit with a heat cap for 30 minutes to deep condition more thoroughly, but again, she really hates getting her hair washed, so I just cut that entire step out for her just to make this process faster. This is a really good deep conditioner, so her hair still gets nice and conditioned without it, so it's fine. She can do it when she's older and she has more patience and she's doing her own hair because I ain't got time for it. Let me calm down. Okay, so now all the conditioner is rinsed out. Her hair is nice and soft and detangled. I squeeze out the water, I twist the hair to keep it detangled, and then I clip it up out of the way while I give her a proper shower to wash her body. And she's done. Oh, the drama of it all. All right, so that's my entire washing process for Olivia's hair. The whole thing probably takes me about 40 to 50 minutes. I add all of my leave-in conditioners, all of my styling products, and I style her hair in the living room so that's probably like another half an hour and i will show you that in another video this has been the quickest most pain-free and easiest way that i have found to make wash day just fly by so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always i hope it helped and i will see you in the next one Bye.